Hi everyone, this is Marcy from Dragonfly Avenue. In today's video, we're going to be going through how to add categories on your shop page, uh, how to add product categories, how to set up a summary block with specific categories, and how to set up a little drop down menu uh, with your categories and how to link them all up um, on Squarespace. Uh, so we are using Squarespace uh, 7.1 and Fluid Engine. Uh, and to show you this, uh, I'll be using one of our templates called Sunny Days. Uh, it is available in our template shop, so feel free to check that out. Um, I really love this vibe, but uh, yeah, it's, yeah, it's available uh, and you can customize it. But let's get to it for categories. So I'm going to just go first to the shop page. So in this template shop, everything is kind of just placeholders. Uh, so there's not a lot of categories, but you can pretty much add whatever you would like. So I'm going to go here to website and then I'm going to scroll to where the shop page is. And so the shop, um, if you are starting from scratch, you're going to have a store. And this icon, the little cart, is going to be like what differentiates it from other pages. So go there. And then here you can see the categories. So uh, you can click into here and add um, like other products. If you go here. You can click this settings icon and then you're going to open up to categories. So let's say I want to add merch. You can just type that in and now you have a new category and that's going to show up on the product page if you would like it to. Uh, let's say you also want, uh, I don't know, I'm trying to think of like another category. Um, let's say you want, uh, colorful glasses, like whatever it is, you can just add another category. Let's say you change your mind. You can either edit that or you can delete it. Now, if you don't want it to show up and to be able to be filtered, you can hide that visibility right here. Let's just stick with those for this tutorial. So once you're done, you can add that in. And then I have a couple products here. Um, and as you can see on the product page, this is our category set. And this is what people are going to filter through. Um, so I don't have any products. It's not going to show up. Sunglasses, all of them, or at least one of them are going to show up. All, all products. Um, Again, if you don't want it visible here, uh, select the button that I showed you previously. Now let's go to this product. So I've already set up products. Uh, you can go through and, you know, like add your own. Um, and down here where it says organization is where you're going to add the product. So let's click the plus and then add the product to all three categories. If you would like, you can also add another category here for, let's say, summer, and it's going to add it into that automatically. Now, you can also do tags. It's another way to organize products. This can be like green, blue, some more specific colors. Uh, you can also do... Um, like different sizes, different, like anything that's more specific that people can search in a search bar. So once you are done there, you're pretty much done setting up your categories. You can hit save and you're going to see that that product will now show up under all the categories in your shop in your like Squarespace shop. Now, if we go back to the home page, we can set up 
what's called a summary block, which is what this is, to show uh, different products or different categories. So I'm going to just go ahead and add a new block and I'm going to pick another summary. I don't want to change this fully, so uh, this is going to just be for now. But once you have your summary block, you can go in and you're going to select a page. So you're going to select shop all. And then down here where it says filter items, you can filter by category. So let's say you want a blue or green or um, the category. So let's say it's only merch or it's only new items or it's only summer items. You can do that there and it's going to show up. And let's me exit and it should be showing up. Yep. So now you're going to have this other product. Um, we don't want any uh, info. You can add more info. You can change the design here. Um, I like using the carousel. Uh, you can change the image aspect. I don't like having excerpts. Um, I think that's fine. You can do a quick view. Um, but you can customize this and you can add this for like latest, new arrivals, uh, different product categories, you know, really whatever it is. But this lets you put, put that on other pages aside from your product page and your shop page um, and kind of you know, add more products out there for your, for, uh, your store. Um, and you can do this on your about page, homepage, really any kind of page that you want. Uh, now, finally, um, we're going to, I'm going to go through how to do this little drop down. So we're going to start, I'm going to move this out and delete this for now. So I'm going to click uh, add new and then I'm going to click a folder. So normally what I do is I'll, I'll uh, label it shop because that's normally kind of what I want people to see. And then this I will change to shop all because it'll show all the products. And then just drag and drop the store into that until you see that it's kind of right below that folder. Now, if you want to add different uh, categories, we can go to add and then link, go to settings, select page. You're going to select shop all. And now you can add different uh, categories or different link or tags. And then once you save, you can do, you'll label it, save. You can select drag and drop and move this around as you'd like. And now you have that going just to that category automatically, which is really nice. It's great for user experience. It smooths everything out um, and it gives people like very clear instructions and gets them to where they want to be faster. Um, so yeah, I really hope this helps with your uh, Squarespace store. Um, again, the template we're using today is called Sunny Days. It's on our shop. Feel free to check it out. I uh, hope this helped. Don't forget to subscribe. Click the little bell for notifications on new videos. And yeah, uh, comment below if you have any questions. Thanks.